Hey there, and welcome to Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill. Well, it took some effort, but the markets did manage to close higher today. The Dow was up about 117 points. The NASDAQ closed about 20 points higher. S&P was up four points. It should be noted that Facebook has now lost, lost another 2.5% today. It's actually down almost 9% from just a couple days. Now, the gains that we actually had today were not enough to make up for yesterday's big losses. But that being said, Lance Roberts in his technically speaking blog post notes that we are still in a bullish market. The trend continues and any drops or corrections that we are seeing, it is still confined in this trend line that we have been seeing since 2009. Now, this chart is a little busy, but it includes yesterday's drops and it shows that the S&P on the S&P it is still within the range of our bullish trend. Now, it bounced off yesterday of that 75-day moving average. So Lance actually created an adjusted consolidation pattern, which is this area in yellow here. Now, this sets a new downward trend. And what we are looking for is if the market crosses back up over this downward trend, we could be back on target to see 3,000 on the S&P by the end of this year. But if not, if it falls below this line right here, we could actually see a drop by as much as like 600 points. It would mean that we are still in a bull market, but that would wipe out more than two years of gain. So yay for the bull market, but it's going to be painful. We're going to keep a close eye on that. But right now, that's all we have. Thank you so very much for watching. Please remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube page where we have new reports coming out every day. You can look at more of these charts at realinvestmentadvice.com. I'm Mike O'Neill, and we'll see you again tomorrow morning.